If you play a lot of Madden NFL and still have your PlayStation 5, well, it might be time to upgrade. PS4 players are now getting the Nintendo Switch treatment for the yearly Madden games. Madden 25 on PS4 might as well be called Legacy Edition. All the upgrades, all the new features are really exclusive to PS5, while the old gen PS4 version is more or less just a roster update with some minor tweaks. So let's compare Madden NFL 25 on PlayStation 4 versus PlayStation 5. The differences between the two are immediate as soon as you load up the game for the first time. On PS4, EA didn't even bother to upgrade the menus. It's only on PS5 you'll get the new presentation, new upgraded game modes. As expected, scrolling through the menus feels a lot slower and sluggish on PS4. Once you do set up a game and load into a match, it's of course going to be faster on PlayStation 5. The loading time comparison here shows 9 seconds on PS5 versus around 32 seconds to do the same thing on PlayStation 4. On the field, the game's also different. PS5 version of Madden 25 gets all the new on-field upgrades, the presentation, the new commentary team, the new player animations, the new 3D grass and turf. It's all exclusive to PlayStation 5. Even the in-game menus, the playbook selection, you're only gonna get the new stuff on PS5. So PS4 is truly more or less just a roster update. Here I'm comparing Madden 24 versus 25 on PlayStation 4. You can see it's really the exact same game visually. Even the presentation, the scoreboard up on top. You don't even get the new scoreboard on PS4. So as I said before, PS4 is really starting to get the Nintendo Switch treatment from EA Sports. Of course, everyone expects the game to look visually worse on PS4 but they should have at least updated the presentation. PS4 doesn't have any graphic mode selection. There's just the one default where you get around 1080p dynamic resolution. Gameplay frame rates are 60 FPS and during cutscenes the frame rates drop to 30 FPS. PS5 has better graphics, better resolution. Things just look a lot better overall. You can expect to see the same sort of 60 FPS during gameplay and 30 FPS during cutscenes scenes. But on PS5, there's actually three graphic modes. There's favor visuals, favor resolution, and favor performance. During the gameplay, all three modes look essentially the same, around 1080p to 1440p dynamic resolution and 60fps. The difference is essentially during the cutscenes. Performance mode keeps the cutscenes and replays at 60fps as well, but of course at a lower resolution and graphics quality. If I'm being honest though, I don't see any point on having a graphic mode selection for this game. They should just keep it simple. Gameplay is exactly the same 60 FPS between the three modes and I can live with 30 FPS cutscenes. So for me, it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, maybe just select favor visuals in this case. So as you can see, if you want the upgraded Madden NFL 25 experience, you're gonna have to get yourself a PlayStation 5. There's not even any cross-gen progression or play between between PS4 and PS5, it's like a completely different game between the two consoles. You can see in this side-by-side -side comparison of how different Madden 24 looks versus 25 on the PlayStation 5. There's a clear upgrade here on the current gen. That new 3D grass or turf looks the best it's ever been and the new animations look great as well. So that's what you need to know about Madden NFL 25 on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. For the rest of the video, check out some more gameplay. The game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. Leading him out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. The biggest mistake you can make here is letting his offense get suckered into trying and matching the pace for the opposition to run the opening script they planned for all week long. Play your game and not let the circumstances dictate and force your hand early. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to get this up to the 20. Headley runs out to send it away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And now we'll try to duplicate that success here. Throwing now off play action. Throwing deep for the end zone. 
Butker on now to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. The biggest mistake you can make here is letting his offense get suckered into trying and matching the pace while the opposition just set. Even if it's a quick score to begin the game, he's got to have the poise and the patience here to run the opening script they planned for all week long. Play your game and not let the circumstances dictate and force your hand early. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. Second and six coming up here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. The Chiefs get to him, and he's dropped. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. I think his decision-making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB could run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. Let's see what they went with on third down. Card in the air now. Forced out to his right. And he's tackled for a short game. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Fourth down punt coming for the Saints as Lou Headley runs out to send it away. Fielded just beyond his 40. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Chiefs will start their drive in optimal field position. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Throwing now, off play action. Throwing deep for the end zone. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs grow their early lead to 13. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. 